Now, could you uh, go on to explain how Muslim thinkers even influenced the Age of Enlightenment in Europe? I mean, did the Europeans <coughs> pick up some of those thoughts? Which but ones? That is a pretty sad story because Voltaire wanted to criticize the Catholic Church for its irrationality and he abused Islam for that. He wrote a, st uh, a drama called Muhammad in which he criticizes irrationality in religion meant to attack the Catholic Church, but the Muslims had to pay the, pay the price for it. Frederick the Great criticized Voltaire for it. Mm. He wrote him and said, you know better that Islam is not that way, because Frederick the, of the Great of Prussia, he knew about Islam since he had Islamic troops. He had several brigades of Muslims. They were formerly Russian soldiers who were caught and then were integrated into, into the Prussian army. Mm -hmm. But they were Muslims of Tatar background. Right. And he criticized Voltaire. Yeah, yeah. he criticized Voltaire. Yes. Lessing did. Um, with his Nathan the Wise. Yes. In Nathan the Wise, they are Jewish, Christian, and Muslim people, but only the Muslims are without fault. Really? Are absolutely ideal. If you read it, you will, you will uh, find that out. It's quite extraordinary. <coughs> or take Goethe. Goethe ran into Islam directly when the Russian troops of Alexander the Great during the Napoleonic Wars came to Weimar and he saw Bashkiri soldiers pray in Weimar and he was impressed. Uh, so when he wrote his West Eastern uh, Divan. Divan. He did so against the background of direct visual uh, experiences he had with Muslims. Mm. Yes. And would you say it was a brave text? Because it really, and in many instances, speaks from the perspective of a Muslim. No, because the 18th century was a tolerant century. Right. And it was a century where deism grew, which meant that you left it up to people like Frederick the Great, chacun a son goût. Uh -huh. Each to their own taste. Yes, it was the 19th century and which became materialistic and the 20th which became ideological, where intolerance grew. The 18th was ideal. Thank you very much. This is so fascinating. We'll take a short break now here on Matters of Faith and we shall be right back with more on the Enlightenment and the Islamic contribution in a moment. See you then. <laughs> 